West Australian Premier Mark McGowan spoke to Sky News political presenter Ashley Gillen after he was emphatically returned to power in a landslide win for the Labor Party at the state election. This is what Mr McGowan had to say moments after his victory. Mark McGowan, congratulations. What an amazing result for you tonight. Could you have imagined it would be this good a result for Labor? Uh, I, you never get ahead of yourself. I wasn't, um, I wasn't thinking beyond the election. I just wanted to do my very best in the lead up to the election and uh, maximise uh, our result. But you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Obviously, normally, what happens is uh, the polls tighten, and uh, when people go in to vote. Normally they go back to how they normally voted um, and swings aren't that big. But I'm just so grateful people have endorsed us, they've given us a vote of confidence and um, I realise it is, a, um, is something I need to respect and uh, uh, make sure we stay humble and grounded. Because that has been the warning from the Liberal Party that if you get total control, if you get a double majority, that you could run riot, essentially, run oh, rampage. I think, I, think, I think you've seen over the last four years, my government has been very responsible, very sensible, uh, very uh, focused on the things that matter, job creation, good economic management, managing the pandemic, um, a whole range of education reforms, uh, social reforms that are sensible and reasonable. That will continue. So we shouldn't be worried that we're going to see too much control from Labor. In terms of the Liberal Party are now voicing concerns about the resources they might get. They might not be the opposition. I don't know. We'll sort of let out in coming days. It's election day. The polls only closed a couple of hours ago. Uh, I don't think we should worry about that at this point in time. Obviously, we'll, um, we'll be a very reasonable, responsible group of people. That's my nature anyway. Um, over, over COVID, I've just been very cautious and precautionary. I think that's shown through. And I think sometimes being cautious, uh, protecting the state, indeed standing up to the Commonwealth, it works. And so the outcomes we have in Western Australia are as good as anywhere in the world and I intend that for that to continue. Is it too simplistic to put this result down to pandemic politics? Well, I don't know. Um, I do know that we worked very hard. I do know we put a very strong plan in place and we had a very strong plan for jobs and health and uh, education and conservation and a whole range of things. Um, uh, but how people voted, you know, everyone votes for different reasons. The hard border has been very controversial on the East Coast. We're a national broadcaster. There's been a lot of debate about your decision to shut up the border whenever there's been community transmission elsewhere. I'm assuming tonight, with the result you've got, there's no regrets on that front? No, because we did the right thing. We did the right thing by the state. We, didn't have any, we haven't had any community spread for more than 10 months. Um, lives have been saved. Uh, I, I, you know, I just think all of this sniping and undermining and carry on about it probably needs to stop. Um, we know that these measures work and we know that people across the country actually respect governments that take steps to protect their citizens. So uh, I think we did the right thing. It looks likely that the National Party will be in opposition. Just how significant a shift is that for the political landscape here in WA? Oh, well, it's not over yet. We don't know. Um, we'll find out in coming days who the uh, formal opposition is. Uh, but. You know, I'm just going to respect the mandate. I'm going to make sure we stay grounded uh, and uh, we don't get ahead of ourselves. We work hard every day. We stay disciplined. That's my, that's my way of doing things. That will continue. Mark McGowan, we'll let you get back to the party. Thanks, Ash.